I am back home in Gainesville. I'm not saying Gainesville is the greatest place in the world. Absolutely not. Because I think some things just should go on set. Uh, so I already see a ton of bass inching up towards keeper size. Uh, there's a giant tilapia out there. Size of who knows what. I mean, 16, there, there's some huge thing swimming around there at the speed of light, which I'm guessing is just, just a big spooky tilapia. I don't mean it's spooky like it scares you, but you know, it gets spooked easily. So this little creek here is on campus. Um, it's got, as I just said, a lot of those, uh, I see a lot of bluegills too, not very big ones. Uh, bluegills and bass, but you know, it's, it's a place where students dump their exotic fish when they're done with them. So there's been documented a lot of um, uh, exotic species here. This was actually where I was going to target Jack Dempsey to put that on my life list, but luckily the Magic Creek already provided that. Um, although there's another bass. Uh, the problem here will be trying to get the bass to eat the uh, crawlers instead of, or before the bluegills do, get the bluegills to eat the, uh, the red worms or nothing, <laughs> because that would be fine too. Alright, also trying to find uh, where would be the best place to target, because this is a really skinny creek, and uh, it's the middle of the day. Browed daylight, as they say. Oh, see, there's the big tilapia right there. Maybe I can shoot this out in front of it. Oh, something's already on it. Uh, it's a bass. I guess the bass will bite in the uh, daylight here. Okay. Hey, how about that? Wow. I was just trying to place it to get that tilapia to bite. This guy was on it, man. Pretty coloring, or pretty marking, is that? Uh, it's a real, one of those pretty red tail tilapias. It might be something else, but that's what it looks like from here. All right, let's see here. New species for the day. Yeah, that's it. No, that's probably bass here. So it's nine, about ten and a half inches. Not too shabby. A nice little soft release cove there. And it was nice enough not to take my crawler. So I think rather than we'll be worried about um, spooking them when it hits the water, it might actually be like a dinner bell. When it hits the water, and they, it might bring them running. Uh, swimming, actually, I guess would be the right term. That was a nice way to start. I threw it right in the sunlight and got a fish before I even knew it. Well, there's a bass looking at the bobber. Now I threw it in the shade where I figured I would have to put it. And the uh, bass is just ignoring it. I'm wondering what that noise is in the background. It's production. Or as they say, oh, oh, oh. That spooked everybody. They say in idiocracy, the economy. Oh. And boom, here's another one. All right, I wonder, I wonder if it's not too uh, dark to fool them with the, um, yeah. Pretty spots there, it almost looks like a spotted bass. Pull them with the, uh, I always want to call it beetle spin, the rooster tail. I swapped out the white one thinking that the 
these dark creeks, uh, it would be better to have a dark uh, colored uh, spinner so you know the white won't contrast so starkly with the uh, dark water and, and look out of place. Uh, So I put a dark green one on it. And of course, uh, this creek is not dark. This is uh, crystal clear, pretty close. All right, um, this is awesome. I, I don't know if I'm actually allowed to be fishing here. Uh, there's nothing posted, uh, but you know, you never know. It's a university of weird rules. You know, they should be kind of lax, but. Um, uh, whatever, we'll see. All I can do is, all I can do is kick me off, kick me out, whatever. Oh, oh no, that's bottom. Thought I already had a fish on the lure. But what I like to do is sight fish. Oh, oh, oh wow, that was a hit for sure. Oh, and that's a fish. Oh, look at that. What is it though, bass or a bluegill? It looks like a really little bass, it is. Oh, there's a bigger bass. It's just hit the little bass. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's get it in the sunlight here. Wow, these bass are aggressive. They must be hungry. Not a lot of food in this little creek, I guess. Another one nicely uh, marked like a spotted bass. I'm just gonna work all up and down this creek until somebody makes me leave. And I got a few other spots on campus. I can try. Oh my gosh, the, the size of that fish I'm looking at right now. Oh, way, oh, oh wow, I almost put that in the tree. That, that's like not even an overhang that's so high. Oh, got another bass. And yet I still almost hooked it into it. This one's so little, I'm just dragging him in. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to insult you. You're cute, it's cute. Well, that might be an insult too. It's the little ones that are so aggressive getting the lure. Amazing, well, uh, I don't know. Oh, there goes a nice big bass. Amazing, might be overselling it just a tad. A little wildlife here, I forgot. This is Lake Alice Creek, after all. It connects to Lake Alice, which is loaded with alligators. Uh, literally, I think they loaded it with alligators on purpose. Not that you had to make any effort to make gators show up in Gainesville. Oh, wow. These guys are aggressive. Oh, he got off. This is going to be delicate. Trying to get it right up there without getting it into the tree. Oh, I see him, yeah. I don't know what it is. Definitely a cichlid profile, though. Oh, that's no, that's no good. That bass is going to take it. Oh, right there. I don't have it quite deep enough. He didn't even see it. Turned him for it. He's looking right. Oh, he's going right. And he turned away from it. You know, I need to put it right on his bed, I think. Oh, now oh, he's making a bigger circle. Still ignoring it. Hmm. And I need to make it deeper. Oh. <laughs> wow, those bass are aggressive. Bit deep, right on the sandy beach there. That's right on his head. Right on his bed, right on his head. Yeah. Oh, man. That bass just literally raced. Wow. There, that's right in there. Something went right after it, and it got it. He's got it in his mouth. Make sure, oh, there he is. What is he? He is some, oh! 
What is it? What is that? What is that? That is that's some sort of sunfish. It's not a bluegill though. Looks like a green sunfish, so I'm gonna call it a warm out. Oh, he just attacked my bobber too. Oh, he took the bait again. Oh, maybe I can see him this time. Warm out. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, warm out. <laughs> I thought it was a red ear sunfish. It read the last second. Look at that. Wow. That's sight fishing. Is. When he came out of his, he was like, make a move, guys. He was looking at all those fish out there like, like roll up, roll up. And none of them took him. And then uh, Baba hit the water and he's like, this is what I'm going to do to you. Smack. Then he got the bait. Someday, I can get my phone out of my pocket. Yeah, that's a, look how green that sucker is. That is like a uh, mud sunfish. I'm an idiot. That looks exactly like a green sunfish, you know, except for the side markings. Uh, it has the traditional, whoa, warm mouth face. That's a beautiful fish, man. see why I wasn't sure what it was. I mean, it looked like a green sunfish, you know? Um, and I know they don't live here in the south. Uh, I mean, in Florida. They do live all over the south, but not in FLA. Oh, oh man, that was a bluegill, I think. Cool. And maybe this time I can get it where I wanted it, not last time. Yeah, there we go right where I wanted it. Oh, he was going to get tangled and I picked him up over the top. It's another nice warm out. Gorgeous fish. Goodness. The colors on these fish are ridiculous. Everywhere you go, you have different colors. Wow. That was amazing. And different bodies of water in the same state, in the same town. And some of these, uh, I don't know, that close to my PB, but it's really incredible looking fish. I guess that's the warm mouth hole. No, okay, no, it's still good. Is it just warm mouth up in there? Like an apartment complex, and they're like, nobody else is allowed in here. Well, we're about to see. No, this is spotted. Yeah. Well, if anybody's going to muscle a little room among the warm mouth, it's a spotted. You know, they call him punctatus for nothing. Pugnacious. Nice. That completes a, uh, a sunfish grand slam. Oh, oh, hey. Warm mouth bluegill. Flyer spotted. Species count as climbing. It's a beautiful fish. No spots on them. It's a really colorful sheen. And his large mouth is lining up here, man. Oh, that's that's all right. Um, that's there. We go. They're pugnacious. What is he? Now I got the bluegill on the list from here. Oh, he's a beautiful one too. A lot of color. Oh, the ruby red tail. Are you kidding me? On a bluegill? I've seen him rusty red, but look at the way it's uh, he's scan fanning his fins for me. Very nice. Or she. It's more of a female thing. Look at the, the, the green right there under the dorsal. I've never seen that before, on a bluegill at least. And what do we have here? Besides a tangle. Another spot. 
with really no spots on it. All right. Well, I do need to move down, I think, around that little bridge area. Just to spread things out a little bit. Come on, man. You pick and you can go. The way it works, man. That, that sucker's got like an orange tail. It's got really deep stripes. And he swims away. Nope, bluegill. <laughs> so I went the same way and then came right back. And beat the other guys to it. Got nice stripes. Red tail. I don't get a picture of them, but yeah, it's a pretty, pretty gilly. Now he's smooshed all on my shirt. They will come out of their hiding place. Oh, there go a couple of tilapia chasing each other. It looks like another. Nope, this is a red ear sunfish. Another sunfish on the day. Wow. You're kidding me, man. I'm just going to keep throwing up there, I guess. What, what do you think else will come out of it? So that's a. Uh... Oh, come on, man. That's a super grand slam, I guess. Five. Nice, nice tiger striping. I mean, like a real tiger, Bengal tiger. Very interesting. That's kind of mottled striping. Woohoo! All right, and that one was a little out of the. He came out, he accommodated me quite nicely. That's not very far up there either. Ah, another bluegill. Oh, hello. Nice one, pretty one. Very nice. I love the tail spot that they get here in uh, Florida sometimes. All right, what is that? That it's probably just a bluegill, but could be. Looking at it from a, the front, could have a cichlid profile. I ran away from it, which makes me think it is a cichlid. That's not the fish it was. This is a spot, another spot. Tilapia here. It's starting to agitate me. Hold on. You are a pretty green spotted sunfish, man. Look at the greens. Can you see the greens? Like up there, it looks like it's almost a uh, bluegill hybrid because there's so much copper on his head. I mean, how would you know? Yeah. Man, those tilapia are going crazy over there. Well, something's got it. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I don't want them to gut hook or anything. And eventually, oh, of course it's a spot they're going to gut hook himself. Doggone it. Nope, it's, it's, it's close. It's close. It's a close call. Hopefully I'm not, I'm not about to, oh, I see blood. Not about to give one of these large mouth a uh, free meal. I should have hit as soon as I saw it moving. Yeah, oh, that's in his gills. Son of a gun. Sorry, man. Last cast of this spot. No, that's not true. It's not where I want to be. 
Be right where I was. Oh, come on, really? Oh, I dallied a little too long. This guy took it again. This time he actually got the hook a little deeper than he wanted, huh? Well, next time maybe you'll let me reel it in instead of attacking it. Beautiful bass though. I mean, really beautiful fish. A whole lot of stuff here before I move to a new spot. I think that bass, I don't know if he's trying to eat. Some bluegills, oh yes he is. Oh man, he tried. Let's see if there's anything besides bluegills down there. It's really neat, there's some big bluegills up. Yeah, he's just got them, got them in his own little pond here. They can't get away. Oh, he almost got one. Tried to snarf him in. Oh, got it. Ah, well, does not want himself. A hook with a worm on it. Hmm. He's just running around looking for bluegills. Gosh, he's big. I mean, I could catch one of these bluegills, put him on a hook. Guess I could do that. It was bound to happen. I caught a spotted sunfish bluegill hybrid. I'm trying to catch a little bluegill to use for bait for that giant bass who's something bluegill over there. And I can't get any to bite because it's so bright. And I'm not going to use this beautiful uh, freak of nature. Look at that black fin. That's just crazy. I just, yo, know, yeah, you guys, you little ones are what I need, not you big ones. Oh, yes, I think you are another spotted, but spotted will work. Perfect bait size, yes, you will work. I don't think the bass cares if you're spotted or a blue. All right, now I've got my bait fish. Just hooking them through the back, not getting them through the, the spine, so really easy. Release, live release. Oh man, he was going after a bass that time. This is a very interesting little spot. Looks deeper than this. Looks very deep and very narrow. I do have to be mindful though that this is the lake this connects to is stuffed with alligators. And uh, there are alligators up in this place right here. Hmm. I see fish. Maybe I need to micro them instead of uh, crawling them. This is total black lagoon stuff right here, man. I could get a much more precise drop. I think that was an alligator. Oh, there goes a fish. Oh, and what is it? It's a gorgeous red breast, I think. Or a really colorful spotted sunfish, that's what it is. Wow. Look at that. Never seen one like that before. And you haven't either yet. Just look at the belly, the red belly. The black back. And the blue sides. It's really cool. Man. 
Spotted are a very interesting sunfish for being one of the more void of coloration. They have a very wide variety of, uh, I don't know what they do have. I can hear alligators back in there. I can hear them moving around. Watch out here. Well, I was right about having to micro this spot. Two little bluegills later. Look at this little guy. Tiny spotted sunfish. Thought he was that cichlid I was looking for. And the frond stem is a uh, thing that looks like a root. All right, that's enough. There we go. Love to keep going back there, but you know, I'd much more love to continue to live with all my limbs, so we'll not be doing that. So, here is a big alligator. I approach very slowly, right there. Look at him. I'm gonna tend to be very unafraid. Hmm. 